Hello everyone, my name is Feed Alligators and welcome to another video. And today I will be talking about how Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is kind of a knockoff of Modern Warfare. And also, I'll personally, I do not feel there's really any reason to play Mo or Cold War over Modern Warfare in the state that Cold War is in right now. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War content. Now it's no secret that Black Ops Cold War is not a very good game, it's very unpolished, a lot of it is broken, and also it's just not really fun. And one of its biggest flaws is taking stuff from Modern Warfare and putting it into its own game, because it just makes it seem like it's not very good and it didn't have a lot of ideas at the start, so they just had to borrow stuff from Modern Warfare because Modern Warfare was very successful. Now that might seem like a good idea if the gameplay mechanics were a lot different, but the problem is these games are very, very similar, except for just a few minor changes here and there, because personally I like Modern Warfare's playstyle better than Cold War, but I just play Cold War because it's the new record and also I'm making content for it. But the problem is the games are so incredibly similar that why would you want to play the one game that has less content, more strict skill-based matchmaking, and also, just not very polished, does not have a lot of game modes either. While you could play Modern Warfare that has a lot of maps, a lot of game modes, and also a very, very polished, or just very, very polished gameplay. Not to mention, I was actually a really, really big fan of Ground War, and it didn't make a return in this game. Ground War was a really, really big feature for me playing Modern Warfare. And it's not back in Cold War, I guess you could say um, Fireteam Dirty Bomb is close, but it's really not that close because you have to collect stuff. It's kind of more like a battle royale, quite frankly. And also, you can't respawn on your teammates as of right now. And just generally, the maps are not that much bigger than normal multiplayer maps. There's nothing really special about them. And last but not least, there are, I only believe, two Fireteam Dirty Bomb maps. Now, keep in mind, this isn't considering zombies, this is just strictly multiplayer. Personally, I think Cold War zombies are really fun, the only thing is there's only one map as of right now. But when they do put more maps in, I can see myself playing Cold War zombies a lot more, and maybe even making content about it. Not to mention, one of the biggest things between Modern Warfare and Cold War is the fact that you have 150 health in Cold War, and you have 100 in Modern Warfare. So it makes it very hard to get into the game because I really liked how fast Modern Warfare's Time to Kill was. It was really nice running around and also it made it very competitive but not super super competitive because a lot of the guns were decently balanced and there were even a couple underrated guns that not a lot of people used that were really really good. But in this game there's just so much guns that are just clearly better than the other ones. The AK-74U and the MP5 are still number one in this game by far. And not only does that have to do with the fact that they're really good, but unlike Modern Warfare, these maps are insanely close range. So why would you use any other gun when you can just run and gun with the MP7 or the MP5 and the AK-74U? Not to mention another massive thing in this game is the hit detection and the bullet velocity in general. The bullet velocity is so slow that I feel like I have lag most of the time when I'm not hitting shots or when the shots are very delayed and that's because they slow down bullet velocity so much. So really it also boils down to attachments when it comes to this because you want to increase bullet velocity and there's really only attachments to do that. There's actually not a lot of attachments to improve different angles like modern warfare they had different ammo types they had di lots of different barrels that affected lots of things but in this game it's literally just oh bigger barrel better bullet velocity this one has slightly better recoil control it's not like you could change up the gun that much and so it really relies on the base gun being good another massive thing that really really i do not like about cold war that makes it seem like a modern warfare knockoff is the shotguns so black ops 4 if you don't remember, had terrible shotguns, they weren't very good because they were secondaries. Modern Warfare came in and made these shotguns a primary again and made them really, really good, like real shotguns should be. Almost all the shotguns, actually I believe all of the shotguns, had the potential for a one-hit kill point blank, which all the guns are really only two of the shotguns in this game. The Hewer has the only one that has a one-shot kill potential, and even then the damage range is so incredibly limited it's really hard to get. And also, the 
Gal or the Galio, or the Gallo, if you want to say it that way, is not a very good shotgun base. I mean, yes, it's semi, or it's semi, but it really isn't that good because of the fact that in order to get it to be a one-shot kill, you have to max out the gun. Modern Warfare was so fun because, yes, the 725 was, of course, nerfed a lot. It was really overpowered at the launch of the game. But it felt like it actually had a really good place, especially with the amount of attachments you could run on it. I personally would like to run the sawed-off stock and the sawed-off barrel just because I would normally use it with a primary and just use that as my secondary, even though it was primaries in the game, so you had to run overkill. But it's just the fact that there was so much customization. All the guns had short barrels that gave you wider pellet spread and, you know, faster ADS speeds and stuff like that. There were a lot of different factors to, you know, think about when you're making a gun. In this game, it's just so mindless because there are clearly attachments that they intended for a lot of people to use over other ones. Heck, there's even attachments that literally have the same exact stats, except for the fact that one of them has a downside and the other one does not. So why would I use the one with a downside? And this is, really shows just how little they put into actually making good attachments and making the game vary a lot depending on what you used. There's also no different ammo types like how there was in Modern Warfare. I mean, Modern Warfare, you could make your own AK-74U by putting on the different rounds, and it affected the um, fire rate, and it affected the range, and a ton of other stuff. And this made it really good because you could make it have the long range capabilities of the AK-74, but you could make it have the faster fire rate and the lower damage of the AK-74U. The problem is, in this game, there's not really much customization for both of these guns, and you can't really interchange them like you could in Modern Warfare. Another big thing to think about is just how little thought they put into the different guns except for the base guns, or not the base guns, the main guns. The assault rifles, the SMGs, and a couple other guns have a decent amount of variety, I will admit. The assault rifles and the submachine guns are really the only ones. Maybe the tactical rifles, because there's two bursts and two semi- semi-auto guns, but the thing is, all the other guns didn't really have much thought, I mean, there's only three LMGs, there's three snipers, there's really only two good pistols, I'm going to be honest, I do not like the Diamati that much, it's really not that good, like how the Renetti was really good in Modern Warfare, this one just clearly sucks, and also, the pistols are just not very different that much. I mean, yes, they are, well, I shouldn't say they're not different that much, but they're just so basic. Yes, you have the powerful revolver, you have the Colt 1911, which is going to be a solid gun, it's going to have a decent damage, it's going to be, you know, just reliable, and then you have the Diamante, which is just a downgraded M16. And also shotguns, there are only two shotguns in this game, you really think they could have came up with something different? Like, I don't know, maybe besides just a pump and a semi-auto, you could have put, like, what they did in Modern Warfare and put one that was faster firing, but still a pump action, like, I don't know, a trench gun or something like that. Even though it wouldn't really fit the time period too much, it still would be good in this game. And they could have just put really anything. They could have put a full auto gun. They could have put the striker, which I know they're adding. But they should have just had that at launch instead of trying to add it through the season pass, which you probably will have to either pay to get or grind multiple hours to unlock. But with that, we will conclude the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment anything down below, such as what you thought of the video or future video ideas. And as always, I will see you all next time.